In this screencast, I want to show you how you can um, save bookmarks using Google Chrome. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to visit a website like the New York Times. So I'll just do a quick Google search and go to the New York Times website. So when I'm at the New York Times website or any website that I want to bookmark, I want to look in my Omni bar. And in my Omni box, I have this um, star. And if I click on the star, then that means it's going to tell me what's the name that's going to be added and where do I want to put this, which folder would I want to put it in. So to, just to start, we're going to keep the name there and I'm going to keep it in the folder of bookmarks bar and click done. So what the bookmarks bar means is that it's added it now to this space underneath the Omni box. And in the Omni box, or underneath the Omni box with the bookmarks, um, if you don't see that bookmarks bar, you're going to want to turn that bookmarks bar on by going to the menu, bookmarks, and show bookmarks bar. Then you'll have it there. So the next thing that you're going to do is that um, a lot of the times this takes up too much space on your bookmarks bar and I can recognize this little favicon of the T for the New York Times. So I can right click on that um, bookmark and edit. And I can even just delete the name. So it's not going to delete the URL, it's just deleting the name. It's keeping it on the bookmarks bar and I can click save. So now just this little teeny icon is the icon that's good for uh, my bookmark. Now when you're on the bookmarks bar too, you can drag and drop each of your little bookmarks so that you can keep them in order if you want. You'll also notice that I have a folder here and I have another folder here and so you can start creating folders for your bookmarks. So I'm going to just right click and um, in this gray space of my bookmarks bar and say add a folder. So maybe I'm going to add a folder for my teaching and technology cohort and I'm going to click add. So now let's say that I want to go to a website. Let's say I'm going to go to National Geographic for Kids and I'm going to be doing an animal research project and so they have this really really great animals and pets website. It's all about animals and pets and this would be a good website for the unit that I am doing um, with my students. So the next thing that I'll do is I'll go into that same space in the Omni box. Just click on that little star but now it's going to ask me which folder do you want to put it in. And I've created the folder called TNT Cohort. I can keep the name or just say National Geographic and click Done. And now what's happened is in the folder, now my um, website um, bookmark is in the folder. So I would encourage you to make a folder and start bookmarking all of the websites that you want to put into your research pro or your um, integrated unit project um, into a folder like this and then you'll be able to bookmark um, while in Google Chrome.